Let's try this problem. So we are gonna convert from decimals to fractions, okay? So let's see, we've got 0 0.45, what does that mean? Now, when you were really young, probably in elementary school, um, you were probably taught that that is 45 hundredths, right? So that can kind of give away what we should do, okay? So what we can do here is we can just write it as 45 hundredths, okay? Because that's what it is, 45 over 100. And then we need to reduce this. We need to put this in, uh, we need to reduce this fraction, simplify this fraction, whatever word you want to use to describe that, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to see what can we divide out. I know they're both divisible by five, okay? And I know you've seen me do this before, writing numbers as a product of their, writing a number as a product of its prime factors is my favorite thing to do. So 45 can be rewritten as, let's see, if we've got 45, we know that's nine and five, that's three, three, five. So we can write the numerator as three times three times five over 100 is 10 and 10. So two, five, two, five. So two times two times five times five, okay? So then check your later fives and nothing else can go away. So I'm looking at three times three, which is nine over five times two, this is easy, 10 times two is 20. So nine over 20. Perfect. Now, there is kind of one thing I wanna say here about this problem and another way to approach it um, that I think is kind of good to think about, but I understand this may lead to some confusion. Uh, so if it does, you can just stop listening because if you have a method to do this that works for you, I want you to do it. I don't wanna confuse you, but I do think it's kind of interesting. So if we have 0 0.45, okay, and we want it to look like a fraction, what we can do is we can say, well, I'm gonna multiply it by 100, okay? Um, but remember, if we're multiplying by 100, we have to do it as 100 over 100 because otherwise we're changing the value. So now we're just multiplying by one, okay? So when I multiply 0 0.45 by 100, I, oops, what am I doing? I multiplied by 100, the whole point was to get rid of the decimal. Okay, sorry, I need a nap. Okay, uh, 0 0.45 times 100 is just 45. And then remember, this is technically over one, so then that's going to be uh, over 100. And then you can kind of reduce it from there. So 45 is three times three times five, and 100 is two times two times five times five. Check your later fives. You are looking at nine over uh, 20, okay? The other way I was going to describe it, I mean, it's easier to think of it as, you know, multiplying by one, or in this case, 100 over 100 is um, you can multiply 0 0.45 by 100, okay? But then you have to undo what you just did because you changed the value, so you're dividing by 100. That's the piece that might not make a lot of sense to a lot of you. It's the same as this, but this is just, honestly, this is how I think about it. Like I do something to it, but then I have to undo it to make sure that I keep its value. Um, that's kind of like when you're completing the square and your teacher will say we're gonna add five to the side. Well, now we're gonna subtract five over here. And I remember teaching that and students were like, what just happened? So I get the confusion. Um, that's why I started to change the way I taught it and I would keep things on, I'd work on the two sides instead of on the same side. Um, so yeah, there you go.